There's so many people in the movie business who really never studied the martial arts. And all they do is talk about all the people they studied with and all the things they did when they really did nothing. Demura Sensei is the real thing. He's a true martial artist, and that's the bottom line. And there are not many of those guys still around. Pat Morita fashioned Mr. Miyagi off of Demura Sensei. Thank you, Demura Sensei. <laughs> Oh, teach 25 years, me talk this way. <laughs> Listen, they've got me a living, guys. <laughs> he was the guy that was responsible for bringing Mr. Miyagi to life with regard to his martial arts expertise. The reason for my success as a karate fighter is really due with Mr. Demera, and I love him very much. Bruce did not use weapons a lot. He used props. But the nunchuck he saw as something very, very dynamic. And Sensei Demura was, of course, the founder, if you will, of the, the nunchuck methods. And he had a book on them. So Bruce studied the book. He talked to Sensei. And uh, that's how he learned to use the nunchuck. <laughs> One day, I'm going to teach this man how to catch flies with chopsticks. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, back again with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing The Real Miyagi. Uh, the Real Miyagi uh, tells the story of the life and times of uh, Fimo Demura. Now, Fimo Demura is the greatest karate uh, master of his generation, and <clears throat> it covers his uh, martial arts career and um, some of uh, the impact he's made on other people's lives, such as Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, Dolph Lundgren. Um, I guess it kind of goes into, um, I guess, what Jim Dramar had his influence on, I guess, on Bruce Lee. Yeah, because Bruce Lee, I guess, Bruce Lee studied uh, his, his material. He studied uh, Jim Dramar's books right here. Like this one right here, uh, Nunchaku uh, Karate Weapon of Self-Defense. <clears throat> Bruce Lee read uh, Fimo De Mauro's, uh books on the nunchucks. And that's how he ended up learning how to uh, use them, you know. But uh, yeah, I've studied a few of Fimo De Mauro's, uh books as well. You know, the, the, this one right here being one, Nunchaku uh the Karate Weapon of Self-Defense and Advance uh, Nunchaku, the, these two right here. If you want to check out my <laughs> Nunchuck demonstrations, you can find them on my Instagram and TikTok accounts. But back to uh, Fimo Demura. Yeah, Fimo Demura, he's considered to be the greatest uh, karate master of his generation, which I believe he fought under the Shitu Ryu karate system, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, but yeah, this documentary is very brilliant, you know, it goes over the life and times of Timo Demura, his career, uh, him working with Pat Morita on the Karate Kid films, because I believe he was the, the stunt double for him, he did very much all the fight scenes for Pat Morita in the film, and um, numerous other things, you know, he, he developed a good friendship with, with Pat, and um, you know, you also hear things from people that have known him on a more personal level and stuff. This is a pretty good uh, karate documentary on uh, Fimo Demura. You know, so yeah, it pretty much goes into uh, you know, it delves into his uh, his personal life as well as professional life as a martial artist. You know, the whole thing with karate, him uh, working on the karate films. And 
overall it, it, it covers a lot of aspects about the guy that you that you probably wouldn't get out of you know the books because like the books were mostly you just got to ner know about like the you know the self-defense portion but as far as like his personal life you get to know more about um the karate master you get to know more about his life both personally and professionally it's a well put together documentary you get to hear uh thoughts from uh, Chuck Norris, thoughts from Steven Seagal, thoughts from Dolph Lundgren, other uh, top Hollywood action stars that had a huge influence on Timo Demura, and um, uh, numerous other things. Him kind of going through his own illnesses and other uh, personal battles, you know, because the documentary takes place through a certain time span, I believe, you know. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend checking out this documentary if you haven't watched it check it out It's a pretty good uh, documentary on the karate master if you know Demura. and if you know And if you're like me, you're not only gonna be watching the documentary You're gonna be checking out his literature as well because he's got a bunch of weapons on on nunchucks um, You know uh, believe you got a weapon uh, a book on on the bow staff as well as a complete book on um, karate but yeah he's got a book called a black belt karate and another black uh, book called uh, Shitu Ryu karate could be the same book maybe one could be a re revised edition you know uh, but yeah uh, I recommend you guys checking out like I said uh, this documentary as well as his uh, you know literature through uh Timo Demuro's martial arts library anyways guys that's the end of today's video if you want to see more content like this make sure to like share comment subscribe and i will see you around for the next video have a good day now peace What's up ladies and gentlemen back again with another video and today we're going to be reviewing The Real Miyagi. Uh, the Real Miyagi uh, tells the story of the life and times of uh, Fimo Demura. Now Fimo Demura is the greatest karate uh, master of his generation and <clears throat> it covers his uh, martial arts career and um, some of uh, the impact he's made on other people's lives such as Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, Dolph Lundgren um, I guess it kind of goes into um, I guess what Timo Dramora had his influence on I guess on Bruce Lee you know because Bruce Lee I guess Bruce Lee studied uh, his his material he studied uh, Timo Dramora's books right here like this one right here, uh, Nunchaku uh, Karate Weapon of Self-Defense. <coughs> Bruce Lee read uh, Pimo Demaro's uh, books on the nunchucks. And that's how he ended up learning how to uh, use them, you know. But uh, yeah, I've studied a few of Pimo Demaro's uh, books as well. You know, the, the, this one right here being one, Nunchaku uh the Karate Weapon of Self-Defense and Advanced uh, Nunchaku, the, these two right here. If you want to check out my <laughs> Nunchuck demonstrations, you can find them on my Instagram and TikTok accounts. But back to uh, Fimo Demura. Yeah, Fimo Demura, he's considered to be the greatest uh, karate master of his generation, which I believe he fought under the Shitu Ryu karate system, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, but yeah, this documentary is very brilliant. You know, it goes over the life and times of Timo Demura, his career, uh, him working with Pat Morita on the Karate Kid films, because I believe he was the the stunt double for him. He did very much all the fight scenes for Pat Morita in the film, and um, numerous other things. You know, he he developed a good friendship with with Pat and. Um, you know, 
you also hear things from people that have known him on a more personal level and stuff. This is a pretty good uh, karate documentary on uh, Fimo Demura. You know, so yeah, it pretty much goes into uh, you know it delves into his uh, his personal life as well as professional life as a martial artist. You know, the whole thing with karate, him uh, working on the karate hit films, and overall, it, it it covers a lot of aspects about the guy that you that you probably wouldn't get out of you know the books because like the books were mostly you just got to know about like the you know the self-defense portion but as far as like his personal life you get to know more about um the karate master you get to know more about his life both personally and professionally it's a well put together documentary you get to hear uh thoughts from uh chuck norris thoughts from steven seagal thoughts from dolph lundgren other uh top hollywood action stars that had a huge influence on Timo Demura, and um uh, numerous other things, him kind of going through his own illnesses and other uh, personal battles, you know, because the documentary takes place through a certain time span, I believe, you know, uh, but yeah, I highly recommend checking out this documentary, if you haven't watched it, <laughs> check it out, it's a pretty good uh, documentary on the Karate Master Fimo Demura. And if, you know, and if you're like me, you're not only going to be watching the documentary, you're going to be checking out his literature as well, because he's got a bunch of weapons on, on nunchucks, um, you know, uh, I believe he got a weapon, uh, a book on, on the bow staff, as well as a complete book on, um, karate, but yeah, he's got a, book called Black Belt Karate and another black uh, book called uh, Shitu Ryu Karate could be the same book maybe one could be a re revised edition you know uh, but yeah uh, I recommend you guys checking out like I said uh, this documentary as well as his uh, you know literature through uh, Fimo Demuro's martial arts library Anyways, guys, that's the end of today's video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you around for the next video. Have a good day now. Peace.